Welcome to Peace Matches, where we talk about all things poop. Drink it. <laughs> yum, yum in my tum tum. This drink comes at a request from our YouTube viewer, Esther, here on the bottom of the screen. She suggested that we try... What are we going to call it? Dr. Pepper and the ink. It's a healthy drink. We'll call it Dr. Vegetable. It's uh, a dumb name. It is a dumb name. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of works. So, whatever. We'll just call it Tomato Poop. It consists of uh, a vegetable V8 and uh, a of pepper. Tomato booth, get her done! There's a bump on my elbow. I can't help it. It was a new <laughs> development in my life. <laughs> <laughs> so what we've got here is basically an alternative to our unhealthy poos. It's a healthy alternative. We've got the V8 and we're going to mix that with the dark pepper. I'm not expecting this to work perfectly, but I don't think it'll be the worst. I'm expecting it to be uh, just slightly under normal level of goodness. Dr. Pepper already is technically a mixed beverage, is it not? Dr. Pepper is a... A lot of things yeah, are a mixed beverage. Yeah, no, 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 but it's... Okay, it's whatever, don't that's how it becomes it's, what it is. It's yeah. a separate entity unto itself. I mean, Dr. Pepper is inherently 23 flavors of different drinks mixed together already. Tomato name we are keeps going the to consume it. Keep stole this off. And we'll mix some poos. Poos it up, yo. I don't deny that it's weird. But, I mean, it's healthy, so it's gotta be good for you at least. It's got tomatoes in it. It's like a perfect compromise, because, yeah, exactly. like, you wanna be unhealthy, because Dr. Pepper is really good. But you also wanna be healthy, because you like your body. So this is now like a, a neutral drink where it just doesn't do anything to you. It's like or bad. Dr. Pepper is going to cancel out any of the good effects that the tomato juice has. Yep. Cheers. I could actually see it. If you actually like V8 in the first place, it could be something you like. As for me, I never liked V8 in the first place, so... That's why it kind of turns me off. Like, I will say, it is a lot better than I thought it was going to be. There's just something about like this, you know, residue that is always left from tomato juice. It kind of tastes like, uh, like SpaghettiOs. Like, like alphagettis. Cold, cold, cold carbonated alphagettis. Alpha cold alphagettis with a hint of 23 flavors. Between checkmark and an X. There's no in between. There's we'll just have a yellow hat <laughs> next. <laughs> There's either. Oh, I got it. I'll vote yes, you vote no, and you vote yes and no. <laughs> Alright people, we got this figured out. We're gonna vote now. Will it poof? Absolutely! No. Yes. No. no, no it won't. Yes it will. It, it, it might. Here's the cheese. You guys go ahead and try this at home and tell us if you think it works or not. Try it at home and tell us what you think. Yeah. I'm Unless gonna... of course you're <laughs> allergic to any of these things. Then don't try it at home, that would be dangerous and unsafe. If you or allergic to tomato juice. Don't do it.